I'm the G's in my jeans, I'm a genius And every day someone say me please And get schooled, homie change the free I'm the plug, what you need though I'm going beast mode I keep it free, even when she under water She can deep though I made a meal before I paid a bill Hey, shout out Mac Miller, man. Rest in peace. Rest easy, big bro. Y'all already know what's up. But um, basically today, I'm gonna talk to y'all what I've been building, as y'all can see in the title. Um, as far as like what I've been building, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna keep y'all down here for a little bit. But damn, okay, so look. Um, first off, rest in peace to Mac Miller. You know, I do jam out. I did jam out to his music. Like, the, the, I was jamming out to his music, right? And, um, that's when I, I seen, like, you know when you're jamming to someone's music and something else pops up of them? Well, I'm jamming to that 100, 100 grandkids song. That's my shit. It's been my shit since it ever came out. It was on Music Choice. Music on demand. If y'all don't remember that shit, then y'all not a real Mac Miller fan. I don't know. But all, all I'm saying is... Bro, I fucking, I love Mac Miller, bro. Like, I love his shit. I love his his work. He actually makes sense, you know what I'm saying? But, like, um, basically, I'm watching this video, and then I fucking watch another video, like, autoplay or whatever, and it's, um, Mac Miller dead at 26. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you serious? So I go to Mac Miller's Instagram, and I see everybody commenting, like, broken hearts and shit. But, um, the really sad part about it all is he died from drugs. Which is fucking ridiculous. Like, y'all have family out there that love and care for y'all. But y'all just ruining shit with drugs. Like, how, imagine how the family feels, bro. Because, like, someone like me, I would think about Mac as a kid and all that shit. And then how he grew up and then he's fucking dead over some fucking drugs. Some man-made drugs, bro. That shit would get, that, I don't know why I'm talking about this in, in the beginning. But I just want to say rest easy, bro. Because... It's hard out here, I know. Um, I mean, look at me, I'm over here doing the unthinkable and shit, but it's just, I don't know what else to do in life right now. Like, I have this rap career going. I got this rap stuff going. I got this blogging going, you know. We got the subscribers going up, you know. I just want to thank y'all for that also. Um, haircut coming soon. I know y'all like, damn, boy. Boy need a haircut. Yeah, I need a haircut. Um, I'm gonna get one today later on or maybe for sure Monday uh, Depending because it might be packed today But let me let me um Tell y'all what I've been building man. So I've been focusing on a lot of wrong things But what what good thing I'm focusing on right now is opening my mind and expanding it, you know, so I've learned the laws of physics right Once you learn the laws of physics, you're gonna understand what I'm saying today what I'm gonna say right now now I don't know if people want you to learn this I don't know and honestly I don't even care because I know this already now all I got to do is find one thing and it's it's done so um basically we live in four dimensions I know this is gonna sound weird for y'all and shit let me spark up before I do this man um, we got the game peach man y'all know what's up Y'all like and comment if y'all want to see game reviews. If y'all want me to review stuff, I would definitely do that for y'all. So y'all just let me know. But um, yeah, let's talk about the laws of physics, right? So we live in four dimensions. A lot of people don't see as us living in dimensions. A lot of people see mechanical time. Mechanical time gets changed every single day by the military. They have some connection with the satellites and they change our time throughout the whole earth every single day so we got to cancel mechanical time because it's not completely accurate that's why they change it every day right correct cancel mechanical time throw that out of the, the equation okay now we're focusing on dimensions so we live in three space-time dimensions what we call space-time is we call space time. Fuck, I forgot what we call space time. Um, I know, I know what we call space time. I know what space time is, but like, so basically, space time is the three dimensions plus the four, fourth dimension. Now we live in three space time dimensions. What I mean by that is, 
three dimensions. We go up and backwards, forward, backwards, up, down, left, right. That's three dimensions. If you're playing a Pac-Man game, you could only go up, wait, up, I don't fucking know, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, we live in three dimensions, okay? It's hard to explain through the camera. You really need, like, um, photo, photo uh, stuff to understand. But, um, basically, guys, so, three dimensions of space-time and one dimension of time itself. Now, space-time, the four dimensions could warp. Excuse me. All right, the four dimensions could warp, which means that it's like a fabric that could be stretched out into like, I don't know, it could be manipulated and stretched out into um, kind of like a fabric, you know? And by stretching space-time itself, we can manipulate time itself. But we can't have an object to stretch the space-time unless it's at the speed of light. Now, for our, in order for us to have an object as the speed of light, we need almost all Earth's energy sources to create just a little object to travel at the speed of light. Now, you got to remember, just because we could find this, if we could find this energy source, we still have problems of warping the time, you know? So, what we have to do is, we have to really think about where to get this energy source from, how we're going to do this, and how it's going to go down. So, basically, we don't have nothing like that on Earth yet. Yet, you know what I'm saying? But that's all that's missing in this time capacity continuum, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying, but... Like right there, I don't know what I'm saying, but y'all get what I mean. So basically, we as people right now don't know what energy source we need to fucking create a warp in the time space, space time. Therefore, we, we're going to Mars, we, we, we're going to all those places, the moon and stuff, and we're trying to search for energy sources. Now, according to some people, there's something called what is it called it's um two lines <sighs> fuck i forgot this guys metric lines or something one second one second y'all spark up man make sure y'all 18 and up all that good stuff hold on i knew i took notes on this bro because <sighs> of course i did all right, so look, we got, um, all right, forget that. So look, there's these lines that were left over the Bing Bang Theory. Now, these lines are not regular lines you see. They're as equivalent size of an atom, you know, and atoms are very small. But one meter of this line that was left after the Big Bang, one meter equivalents the exact same gravity pull as the whole Earth. So one meter of that line creates the exact pull. And we still have those today, right? Now, the only way we could create um, to break the space-time itself is for those two lines to meet each other and cross at an amount of speed. Therefore, we could have the same time of, we could have some manipulate manipulation with the space time. We could actually, therefore, almost create the speed of light without having to find the speed of light energy in a black hole. Because in a black hole, that's where the speed of light is located. That's where we could have the energy sources for that. Now, there's people on Earth recreating black holes. Not in form itself, but as what black holes have inside of them. We have done that already, and we're looking for energy sources. And they manipulated neutrons and, and somehow did math with neutrons to add up a black hole. And the stuff that's found in the black hole, we've created that. So what we're doing now, like as far as I know, is we're recre recreating a black hole. We're recreating the energy source that we need that we can't get, but we're, we're working on it. So basically what I'm what I'm working on is is just to break space time itself. 
when we go up into a spaceship and they went to the moon or whatever, they go up in space, they were up and they, they traveled in the future half a second, right? I don't know how they do that. It's because like gravity like on a lower surface is like um you you have less time you have I don't know how to explain it. Let me see. You have faster timing on the ground than to be in a skyscraper. How is that even possible? It's because the gravitational pull is more stronger on the ground than all the way high up in the skyscraper. So if you see somebody throw something on a skyscraper and it goes flying up, it's because the gravitational pull is not as strong as it is on the earth. So, I mean, on the floor. So what I'm trying to go for is when they went all the way up into space at fast alarming speeds to get to the space, they actually went into the future a half a second. They were a half a second above the regular timeline. Now, this is not mechanical time. They actually didn't record this off mechanical time, but as the space time. They recorded this off of space time, which is very accurate. So they knew that we have this ability to warp space time just by doing a certain amount of speeds and mass because the speed and mass creates a gravitational pull and gravitational pull is key to warping the space time um, continuum. I know it's a lot to get for your first day, but I hope I can explain it the best way as possible. But um, a lot of people think I'm dumb, but I'm not really dumb, you know? Like, I'm really smart as fuck. And, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of research. This is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. I don't want to even get into the details because I might get in trouble. And this is where I was going with the government stuff. What I'm saying today is not going to get me in trouble. But my ideas might. So, check this out. That has a bunch of electricity, electricity um, power source. These poles right here will probably be the closest thing to me having the energy power source that I need to create a space-time warp. Those, that, you know, that shit right there is going to help me create the power source I need. It's just the tip of the iceberg. There's nothing more powerful that I know about than that tower right there. All the electricity that I could need. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying like. That's not shit to what I need. And that's why I'm here today. That's why the government don't want me. Because they know I haven't cracked the secret to what I'm doing yet. But I would never give up. You know? And the more research that comes out. The more keys that get put out. The more ability I get to have for my goal. You know? This is just something that you got to think about. Because... A lot of people think Earth is just Earth. Like, we don't have resources to time travel. We don't have resources to do anything like that. But guess what? The law of physics prove otherwise. The law of physics makes time travel not so crazy as it sounds. If y'all know what I'm saying, then y'all know what I'm saying. But a lot of people, like, they don't understand. And, um, bro, y'all don't even want to know how much stuff I read. Y'all don't even want to know how much videos I watch. Y'all don't want to know that, but... All I know is I know exactly how a time machine is created. All we need, everybody on Earth is just waiting for the energy source to be found. Now, those two metric lines or whatever, I'm going to call them metric lines. I really forgot what they're called. Um, it's something weird. Metric lines, I'm going to say metric lines. So, once we find out this energy source for metric lines, we could actually beat the speed of light itself. And take a shortcut through the space-time continuum, which can actually make us go back in time also and in, in the future. But with the regular energy speed of light, we would not be able to travel back into time, only forward. And once you're there, you can't travel back unless they have the energy sources that, that was made there already functional for you to go back and tell your story. But they're saying if you have the energy source of the speed of light, you could never come back only because... That energy source will not be able to come back with you. It will only be able to send you there. It's just weird how how it's all described and explained, you know. And um, I just want to say, guys, y'all need to wake up. I'm, I'm thinking about this space-time warp, you know, because a lot of people saying this stuff and that stuff. And it's kind of scary to think about that your destiny could just be wiped out of, out of the earth. 
and no one would even know about it because somebody could just go back into time, make sure you were never born, and no one would ever know me, ever. You know what I'm saying? That's the scariest part about it all is you, you feel so defenseless in this world when you find out they're doing all this stuff and the scientists are right behind it. And I heard people already created this in 1988 or 1981, which is fucking extremely crazy because, like, damn. I'm, I'm sorry for talking about this too much, guys, but um, I, I have a lot on my mind, and I don't know. A lot of people might think, like, damn, this man, I don't know. This man, he talking out of his ass. He's high as fuck and shit. No, I'm not. Listen, this is the laws of physics. You know, it's proven it's the laws of physics. It's not like it's just me being a child or something. This is actually proven, proven facts that I'm stating here. You know, it's not like I'm out here just talking out my ass, bro. I'm actually stating facts that it's a way to break the space time. And we could warp it. And we could stretch it out. Therefore, we could travel through it. It's a lot of things to, to learn about. It's a lot of things to worry about. I'm just going to spark this up. But yeah, guys, thank y'all for watching. I know this video is like, eh, it's not the best. But I got new music on the way, that Big Backwoods song. I know y'all like that Big Backwoods song, so. I hit up the producer, and um, I just got to pay for that, for the instrumental. So I'm just going to wait till my revenue check comes in, and then I'm going to pay him that. And you know what's up. And then, um, then I'm going to drop the song. Hopefully I get paid around the 20-something, I don't know. But um, if not, I might just I might just pay him with my own money, you know what I'm saying? And then um, just get it back on the revenue check, which is, you know, a smart idea. But I don't know. We'll see what's up, guys. Just make sure y'all share this video, all that good stuff. Um, y'all be safe out there. <sighs> y'all never know, you know? <sighs> but, yeah, otherwise than that, man, that's all I got to say as far as this space-time warping stuff and all that crazy stuff. All these people are like, um, passing by me, right? They hear me talking about space time and shit. Like, they like, dude, who the fuck is this scientist? Scientist Young Mike, you know what I'm saying? That'd be crazy I invented the first time machine. Nobody would expect that, you know what I'm saying? But look, everybody has a reason to be on this earth, in my opinion. Everybody has their own goal in life. And everybody will succeed if they try if you don't try it's hard to succeed but don't give up when you feel like giving up don't give up you always gonna be on top if you're not on top don't stress about it people be worried about my subscriber count I don't care about my subscriber count I care for all my peoples but I'm not gonna sit here and brag about how much subscribers I have when have I ever done that I'm not going to be like, bro, I have 136,000 subscribers. You got like five. No, I never talk down on people like that. When I got stacks, I never talk down on people. Ever. You know, I never be like, oh, I got diamonds in my mouth. Boy, you ain't got shit. No, I never brag like that because I know that that next person could do it if he wants. You know, don't brag on nobody because that's just not the right way to do it. Humble yourself, you know. My mom's still struggling out here in these streets. This crack addiction is no joke. You could give her 10 racks and she'll blow that shit in a week on crack. There's nothing I could do for her but be 